Okay, Friday, January 14th. I don't think I weighed in yesterday. I don't remember, but I don't think I did. Uh, Hold on, I'll get your bowl just a second. Mommy. Oh my gosh, okay, Jackson. Wait a second, buddy. Just a second. Mommy. Oh my god. Mommy. One, 150.2. Are you gonna be like this all day? Yeah. yeah. You better not be, hold on, 150.2. Hold on, there, go ahead. Jeez. 28 pounds. You're so big. Okay, what does that say? 150.2. Okay. Okay, it's 148. Jax is in bed. Adrian's making her lunch. Allie's finishing her lunch. I just made my lunch. So my first thing of the day was this. Four egg rolls. Those are pagoda chicken egg rolls. And I just made them in the air fryer. Really hot. So good. Okay, all I've had today is those egg rolls. Now it's 7.51, I'm almost to Meyer. I just left Sam's and took everything home and now I'm on my way to Meyer. I don't have the kids, they're with their dad for the weekend. I'm starving, so I just got two crunchy tacos, add sour cream and a small Pepsi because I'm gonna be in Meyer a while and then I don't wanna buy everything in sight because I'm hungry. Oh, this just sounds amazing. I just saw they have a new slush and I might have to get Taco Bell tomorrow too. I don't know, we'll see. But yeah, I'm gonna have two crunchy tacos, add sour cream. Okay, it's 2.56 a.m. Uh, for dinner, I had Arby's. I filmed it if you want to watch that and see what all I had. You can watch that mukbang. And then now I'm just I'm finishing editing a video and then I'm going to bed. Um, but for now, I'm just snacking on some Chex Mix and just poured some Coke Zero. So yeah, this will be the last thing I eat for today. Some basic Chex Mix. It looks, I saw it at the store, it was $1 and it looked good. So I grabbed it. That's what I'm having for a snack. January 14th, tonight we pray for the mama who feels as if she is climbing uphill. She feels as though this mountain has no top and she will never reach the summit. Motherhood is so much harder than she imagined. She loves her children, but the constant daily struggles to do everything is wearing on her heart and mind today. Lord, we pray for this mama. We ask that you would remind her that she is never alone. Let her know that we are a community of praying women all over the world are praying for her tonight in her climb. Please remind her that you are with her every single step of this journey. Give her sweet sleep tonight as she rests and prepares for another day. We ask in Jesus' name, amen. Tonight, I'm praying this for myself along with a lot of other people. I know a lot of my mom friends, especially my stay-at-home mom friends, It is it's like an uphill battle that you just never... You never, like, you never get to the end of it. You never, it's just the, I don't even know. It's like you just keep climbing and climbing and it's just, it's never ending. There's always something, there's always, there's just always, there, it just keep, it just continues. It's like a never, it's like a never ending slope. I totally relate. I'm like, I'm at kind of speechless because there are so many things that go on. It's like, it's like a never ending slope. You have it in your mind, like, I need to do this, I need to do that, I need to do that. I'll be caught up on things. But you don't, you never get... You never get caught up because everything just continues. So you just feel like you're climbing and climbing and climbing. And you get so close to the top and you just can never reach the top. Whether it's with um, household chores. Like, um, rep not rep I'm like, uh, it could be with potty training. With teaching your kids the ins and outs of things. Trying to get your kids to um, pick up after themselves. Like starting at a young age. Like trying to keep up with grocery like meal planning, things like that. And you think you're finally caught up with all these things and you finally have it together. And it's just, you just keep climbing and you just never seem to get there. <laughs> like this one girl I used to follow, um, well, I, mean, I still follow her. She said, um, you know, you can either have my car nice, my house met and not just, sorry. You can either have my car nice, my house nice, or me looking nice, but you're never going to get all three because if I keep with my house, then I slack on myself in my car. If I keep my car nice and clean and tidy, then I'm slacking you know, somewhere else. There's always going to be something that you just can't seem to conquer. Maybe not everyone. Some people I've seen that seem to have everything together all the time. I don't know if that's just on social media and they make it appear that way, but they like seem to never have a struggle, never a mess. They're always put together. Everything's always, I don't know how, because I don't know anybody in real life that is like that. Nobody. 
So I totally relate. Yes. Um, I'm, I'm never alone anytime. And it's so weird because a lot of times I post things on Facebook or on my videos and I kind of think, should I not? Cause people are just going to think I'm complaining and when I'm not, I'm just stating how things go and how my day was. I'm not complaining. I'm just, it's just a real day in life. This is how it went. And every time so many people are like, oh my gosh, I'm so glad you post this. I can relate so much. I, you make me feel like I'm not alone because so many people make me feel like I just, I'm on my own. Like I'm all alone. Nobody can relate to the things I go through, but in reality, a lot of people can relate. So you are never alone. Yes, we love our children, but this is right. The constant daily struggle to do everything is wearing on, it wears on my heart and mind like every day. Like every day when I go to bed, I feel like there was something I could have done better. And I need to stop doing that because days that I think might have been completely shot to shit. Um, my kids might think that was, might have thought that that was just the greatest day ever. They might not even have noticed the little things that bothered me and that had me like kind of on edge. My kids probably didn't even notice them. They just thought it was another great day. So we've, us moms, we've got to stop being so hard on ourselves. But no, you're not alone. That, that mountain is high, it, but it does have a top. <laughs> even though we feel like we'll never reach it. We're, we're, we're reaching higher than we actually think that we are. Okay. So tonight I'm praying this for any of you out there that like, I just keep giggling because it's just, <laughs> oh my gosh, I relate so much. And so many of you, we love our kids, but oh my gosh, can they push us? And can like the, the daily life of day in and day out, just with your kids all day, every day, it, it gets to you. It, you Like people that go to work, you get a little break from your kid. Yes, you still have messes at home. Yes, you have that, all that. But when you're gone and your kids are gone, it's not, your house isn't constantly being torn apart. You know what I mean? So I've done both. I've been a working mom. I've been a stay at home mom. Working mom, you get a break. You get a lunch break. You get the quiet drive to work. You get silence or like a sound other than a kid saying mom, mom, mom. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, so yeah, it is. Some days are great, but some days are a real struggle being a stay at home mom. But I wouldn't trade it for anything. Um, they're only little ones. And you know, they, why pay somebody else to raise your children at a daycare when you can you know, make things work and pinch pennies and raise them yourself. You know, they're only little ones. So tonight I'm praying this for anyone who can relate.